Welcome to our exploration of floating point arithmetic. Today, we're tackling a fascinating question. Is floating point multiplication associative in a special case? While it's widely known that IEEE floating point multiplication isn't associative, we have a unique scenario to consider. What happens when we take three 32-bit signed integers, convert them to 64-bit double precision numbers, and evaluate the expression d times db times dc versus da times db times dc? Could it be that this expression always returns one? Let's dive into the details and see if we can uncover the truth behind this intriguing question. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your questions, answering them, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you'll find that solution you're looking for. Now, let's continue on to the video. Let's explore the associativity of floating point multiplication in a special case. We know that ITREP with floating point multiplication is generally not associative. However, we are considering a specific scenario where A, B, and C are 32-bit signed integers. We convert these integers to double precision using the following code. The question is whether the expression DA multiplied by DB multiplied by DC is equal to DA multiplied by DB, then multiplied by DC. Let's analyze this. You tested several large values for A, B, and C, such as A equals 2 to the power of 30 plus 1. This ensures rounding occurs, as the exact values cannot be represented. Despite your tests, you couldn't find a counterexample. This suggests that in this specific case, the expression may indeed always return 1 due to the properties of floating point arithmetic. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In a special case, we can see that floating point multiplication is not associative. Let's consider three values. A and B are both two raised to the 30th power plus one, and C is two raised to the 30th power plus two raised to the six plus one. When we compute a times b times c, we get a specific result. However, if we compute a times b times c, the results differ slightly. The difference is in the last bit of the results, highlighting that floating point multiplication can lead to different outcomes based on the order of operations. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In exploring the associativity of floating point multiplication, a brute force search with random 32-bit integers shows that the equation dA times dB times dC does not equal dA times dB times dC in about one-third of the cases. key insight from Pascal Kouak indicates that the largest operand must exceed 2 raised to the 26th power for the inequality to occur. This allows us to limit our search to operands less than 2 raised to the 27th power. The code provided suggests that the inequality can occur 
If either product exceeds two raised to the 53rd power, meaning the largest factor must be greater than the square root of two raised to the 53rd power. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The question asks if the expression dA times dB times dC is always equal to dA times dB times dC. A user found a counterexample using powers of 2. They suggest that at least one of the numbers needs to exceed 2 raised to the 27th power to demonstrate this issue with typical double precision. The user emphasizes the importance of ensuring that intermediate products do not use long double precision, as this could affect the results. They provide a code snippet that tests the equality of the two expressions and checks for discrepancies. In the provided code, the user generates random powers of two and tests the multiplication associativity. They run multiple tests to find cases where the two expressions yield different results. And that's it. I hope this video has helped you get through to that resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. And until next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.